Yo, my Chico Chicas, Quads got this here. We've done tier lists before, and by we've done tier lists, I mean we've probably only, most definitely done one. <laughs> and that one has nothing to do with Fortnite, but it is tier list. It was a tier list done on nothing else but the greatest rankings of Professor. Which if you guys want to check out what, another ranking video, go ahead and check it. It's right there in the video, in the description, as well as it's a good way to plug in. If you guys are new here, subscribe, like, and know that we do a bunch of these type of things. And mostly gaming, if I'm being completely honest. But without further ado, we're gonna compare the best of the best from S tier to a D tier. What are the best Fortnite collabs that are coming through? Let's get it. So, I know before anything, big disregard. This is, in my opinion, my opinion, me. So it's okay you guys totally, you know, in the comment section, dookie on my opinions. I'm cool with this, all right? But I don't want to see type of comments where people are arguing, saying that I don't know what I'm talking about, when clearly it's my opinion. Of course it's my opinion, meaning I probably don't know what I'm talking about. We're starting off, you know, setting the bar. We're gonna set the bar straight with one that was very solid to me. And that is one that people probably forgot a lot about of. It was the Borderlands collab Fortnite did. I thought what they did with that collab was just straight, amazing, fire, lit. All of those adjectives that make me look cool and funky. What? I thought that that was great. I, I, I feel like the Pandora collab, I believe it's what it was called. It wasn't called the Borderlands collab, but it was Borderlands. They gave a POI that, oh my god, was the hottest drop out there. All I remember from my memories of that POI was suffering, but yet amusement because of how cool the POIs were. I believe it was more than one POI. It might have been two or three. Like I said, you guys can type in the comments below. Go free, go fire, tell me, correct me, whatever you want to say. You know, that thing was amazing. They That was when they introduced shields. They introduced the self-healing region in it. There was no building, I believe, which was kind of, I think, uh, you know, a little, a little, a little emphasis on what was to come, right? And what stood out to me the most out of those two was that also in that season, if I remember right, they, like, when you entered the POI, besides getting shield regen, they also had, like, a texture remake on your character. They gave the, the Borderlands, like, aesthetic. And, dude, yes, for PC players that literally, like, the frames died on them. I remember hearing so many streamers complain about it. It was great. I thought it was a solid, uh, like, introduction to collabs. And I give that, you know, it's our starting base. Pandora's collab of Borderlands with Fortnite. A solid... B. Now, you're gonna say, why B and not A if it's solid? B because they could have done a little bit more. They could have added a little more stuff. Like I said, I'm basing this off of my memory. There's no script. I didn't do a lot of research. If we do a part two, there will be more research. I will look into it more, but there's still not gonna be a script. But I will look into it. I'll see your guys' comments, read about it, and do better research before I do it so I get a better refresher. On to the next one. So, like I was saying earlier, we have been going through it. There's a lot of stuff going through. And this one, for me, is kind of a hit or miss. And that is the Fortnite Star Wars collab. I love the idea of Star Wars in, in Fortnite. It was the coolest thing I ever witnessed. I didn't think they were going to go as far as they did. They added lightsabers, they added blasters, and uh, they even went to the point of doing the Mandalorian one, but we will do that one separate because I feel like the Mandalorian one was kind of different from, from the lightsaber one. When they first dropped out the lightsabers, they were great. Everybody loved them. We wanted the freaking lightsaber action. It was, you know, a full-on 
ching 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 type of thing, you know. You guys heard it. Mongrel's done it all the time. Sing 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 sing. It was great. It was a blast. I I never had so much more fun. The POIs they added for the first Star Wars collab was not as cool. Um, and you started getting a little bit bored of the lightsabers, and they weren't as viable for like actual play. Like you literally, you could probably pull it a lightsaber play off mostly in squads or trios rather than duos and solos so yeah because of that the like i said introduction was dope the idea was great but when push came to shove and the way they implemented the whole collab i think it was kind of weak sus. so we're gonna put it in c tier Collab. This one, I know for a fact it was in Chapter 1. And that one was the Fortnite John Wick 3 collab. That was freaking amazing what they did with the John Wick. It's literally John Wick and they did like two of the craziest introductions for weapons that changed the Fortnite format for both competitive and casual play. It was such a, like, wow. First off, they had an exclusive mode for it that was called Hunters or Hunted, something like that. Like I said, put in the comments if you guys remember what it was specifically called. Basically, you became John Wick and you guys spawned with both the Combat um, combat AR, I believe it was called, or the uh, Assault AR, the Assassin's AR. You guys know what I'm talking about. And the Combat Shotgun. That was literally the coolest gun and shotgun most overpowered shotgun introduced to the fortnite realm not because of how quick it shot because it shot quick quick as hell but because of the range it had at the time people were literally just choosing to rock a shotgun at endgame because of how far did it was pretty much like fortnite you know season one season zero season two uh, pump shotgun action except 10 times stronger and quicker man holy crap you were able to aim shoot people out of the sky out of it uh, you were not safe you heard the shotgun make that you know iconic shotgun sound as it was getting pumped up and ready 10 entire shots and they could all be shot in a matter of 10 seconds or a little bit less like dude each one doing like 90 to 110 damage they, you know, you, you squad wipe so quick with this thing. And John Wick himself, the, the game mode itself was outrageous. It was great. It was fantastic. They introduced respawn. So you were able to, after you died, you got three lives to try to get the most kills and get a victory royale. And it was great because it, it, it gave you the chance with that, that combat shotgun to literally start solo squally. <laughs> Solo squatting way easier than it's ever been seen. So because of that, I feel like the John Wick one definitely is a B tier. Yes! Holy shit. Here we go. This one, I'm probably gonna get heated for, like, or hated. I said heat and hate at the same time, so heated. But I... I, I love anime, so you guys already know where I'm going with this. But it was so disappointing. <laughs> and the collab itself, it was pretty much a very sad collab that they did for this. And, you know, it could be that Fortnite just doesn't, you know, doesn't rock with this anime as much. Because, you know, it, 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 maybe they weren't unsure of how popular it would be for them. How much they'd actually get out of it. I don't know, you know, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it's their first anime collab they ever did, so maybe that's why they just weren't sure of how to do it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point you guys know what I'm talking about, and it's the Fortnite Naruto collab, I did not like the collab itself, but bringing in the characters was great. I, I, I think the Naruto skins, you know, as much as people were like, you know, Hitting, hating on it, I, I think for the first anime collab, it did good. The, the skins were dope, 
you got Naruto, you got Sasuke. I still do believe they could have done way better with the Naruto Sasuke co uh, collab skins. Like, we could have gotten way better. They did Kakashi fantastic though. They 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 literally like gave him the most badass outfits compared to Naruto and Sasuke's. But that's about it. After that, all they did for that was not even bring a P uh, POI. There was no no Naruto POI. It was pretty much just collab of skins and one weapon. And that weapon is just extremely underwhelming. It, it was, I thought, you know, the idea is cool on paper or on computer. It, it, it's great, but the damage it did and the purpose of it using it, just all the cons outdid it. You know, and it's the, the paper bomb kunai. That thing looks so cool. The idea was dope, but it just... It, 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 it was pretty yeah underwhelming you only got like five of those four of those you you could I think you could stack them I could be wrong like I said comment down below recorrect me I'm going off of memory and I just I, you did like 40 damage 60 damage with the kunais and they they didn't even destroy buildings or like you know they didn't even one shot the buildings or even half shot them you know not even two shots it was just chilling there and you'd easily get destroyed you can outrun it. What I will say was cool about it is that when you threw it at an opponent and they didn't build, it would explode on contact. So that is pretty cool. That was a plus. See, I'm telling you, I'm not biased. I'm just saying that weapon was extremely underwhelming. But I, I, I'm holding back because, like I said, it was the first anime collab Fortnite ever officially did with the, you know, so. I, I'm giving some leeway. I'm giving some room to them and giving, giving, giving them space because it, it's it's a first collab. You do you, you know they're they're tr they're testing the water, and, and because of that, I gotta put it in the tier. Fortnite Batman collab was one of the for me like gosh darn it they blew it out of the park with everything they introduced they got one POI for for Batman which was Tilted Towers and I think it was the greatest decision Fortnite or Epic Games whoever's behind the game designing they did great freaking Tilted Towers already gave off a Gotham style vibe this place of city and rurality and when they gave it the aesthetic of Gotham like if you guys remember or you've played it and if you haven't played it go back and look at it or maybe right now I'm already putting on replays of how I used to play it had a little dark vibe it had its own theme music playing everything was literally in the aesthetics of a Batman world a universe of Batman Gotham it literally was Gotham you go in you transferred you had redeployed as well as they introduced for the entire BR games for both I believe competitive and non-competitive was the Batarang and the Batman Grappler which was a replacement part for the regular Grappler that they had before and I'm just gonna say right here right now the most fun you could ever have with like items at that time. I remember just how amazing it was to set up people with batter ranks while using the Batman Grappler to go across the map in order to get quicker elims, in order to catch more movement to escape. It was just all fantastic. Did I mention that the Batman Grappler, when you used it, it actually made you deploy the Batman's cape just like the city does on its own without using a grappler. You jump off and then you click a redeploy and you pull out the Batman's badass cape going down on whoever it is that you're about to Fortnite on and just get it done. It was a great one and because of that I believe the Fortnite Batman collab is well worth and worthy of the first A tier in this list. Next we have the return of Star Wars. This time in collaboration with The Mandalorian. Now, this one is kind of cheating because this was kind of the introduction of just a, a whole, you know, a whole new style for Chapter 2 
of Fortnite. And what they did was make it dedicated to the season pass with the Mandalorian being level 100 skin. So it wasn't technically really a collab, but it was still badass nonetheless. It had all these cool things, you know, it had new POIs, it had new mechanics, as well alongside with it, you had freaking the Mandalorian himself with his theme music, his own little tiny POI where you could go take on the Mandalorian to get his in-game item, which was the rifle, the rifle sniper laser Mandalorian, I, we're gonna call it the Mandalorian sniper spear. I do not remember. Go in the comments below and correct me. Like I said, if you guys really want to get on me for that, I'm sorry. I'm going off of recollection. And I just, you know, it, it's like, it, it's it's simple but effective. It was a great gun. A lot of people loved it. There was a lot of videos made with it. It was a lot of Mimi. It had a melee attack along with the sniper attack, which had the first, I believe, like I said, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was the first thermal style weapon that lets you see through builds and lets you see far away to spot your opponents, your enemies, whatever. You could see through them and be able to tell where they were at so you can plan your attack with, with a little nice sniper shot. It wasn't the strongest sniper, but it was still a pretty decent sniper because of the fact that I believe the melee weapon, Fortnite thought they needed to balance it out, which I think it was kind of underwhelming because the sniper would hit less for than a regular sniper at that time. So because of that, I do believe it was on the weak side and it kind of was a, 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 I don't, I want to say it wasn't as, I'll leave it at C tier only because of the fact that I don't think it's as sad as, you know, Naruto's collab. Love of God! comes the biggie boy this was for me like now we're gonna kind of cheat it because i'm gonna include this into two it's gonna be two different times this collab happened and i'm pretty sure you guys can already tell what it is technically three if you think about it and it's the fortnite x marvel endgame collab this was literally what started the trends for Fortnite and collabs of other, you know, entertainment universes, and I think they did fan freaking tastic. Um, when I, when everybody first watched it, it was first the Thanos Gauntlet for Infinity War, and then after that, you know, we had all of the Thanos memes, and a lot of legends were born in the Fortnite community for editing. And it was a fantastic time, it was a great time. You know, like I said, despite it being so simple with just being the Thanos gauntlet, that simple thing made the BR experience just a lot more fun and brought so much life to Fortnite that I think at that time was kind of doled out. And that just, that collab that they popped out of nowhere, it, 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 re, it, it brought just a new, fresh take on what Fortnite can do. It up the ranty, introduced that they are still expanding Avengers slash Marvel slash Endgame slash Thanos collab was what set Fortnite into the realm of making collaborations even bigger than it ever was. You know, it's something that I still think stands extremely well to this day as a memory on a lot of the Fortnite players. And because of that, I genuinely believe it deserves the ST. And like I said, you guys could comment maybe saying that I kind of cheated because I combined all three. You're probably right. I just couldn't find more pictures of the Avengers slash Iron Man slash Marvel slash Thanos, you know, pictures to, to put into the tier list. So I just put in one. And, you know, that's it. I got nothing else to say. The Infinity. Yeah.
And now, for the last and the best anime collab to date. Technically, there's only been two, but I believe that Fortnite with this collaboration shot it. Yo, Kame, yo, mama. We all know the Kame, yo, mama is a my mama what? Out of the park, man. Like, dude, it did everything right that I feel like they were afraid to do with Naruto. Like I said, I have nothing against the Naruto franchise, but I do feel like Fortnite was kind of scared or didn't know their limits on what they could do. And this time, I feel like they kind of coincided, talked to Toei, let them know about this, and, and gave ideas back and forth on how they could implement. And they just, woo, blew it out of the park. I don't like where this is going. POIs, weapons, you, uh, you know, mobility. It, 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 they did everything they could to make this collab be insane. They added, you know, I know Naruto also had their own little, you know, creative mode maps and all that. Dragon Ball did as well, but did Naruto show Naruto episodes like Dragon Ball did? I don't think so. They literally promoted the Dragon Ball upcoming movie along with showing and still showing rotations of different episodes from the Dragon Ball Super series. They're completely shown without ads in between. You watch a full length video or an episode of the entire Dragon Ball thing right there in the creative mode map along with its own map just like Naruto had a dedicated creative map where you get to find out about what you know the Dragon Verse, uh, Dragon Ball Verse, why they say Dragon Verse, Dragon Ball Verse like Naruto Verse did. And, uh, uh, you know, that was great. But the items they did for this were just a big, big yes. Someone's out there, and everybody's usually carrying a Nimbus or a Kamehameha ready to freaking blast people. You know? Can I get a Even if it's gonna get them killed, that's how crazy and fun it is to do those type of things. So because of that, I do believe it belongs alongside Batman. I do believe it's a strong A tier contender. So this wraps it up. S tier, all of the Avengers, Marvel type of things. That collab was fantastic. A tiers, Batman and freaking Dragon Ball. B tiers, Pandora's and John Wick's. My C tiers are definitely both Star Wars and. D tier for me, the weakest, not the worst, just weakest collab is definitely not. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. And also, if you guys want a part two, tell me what other collabs you guys want me to rank. All right, without further ado, though, my jiggles and jiggles, this is Juan Scott. This. We'll see you all on the next one. Over and out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man.